Lot went up from Zoar and settled in the hill country with his two daughters, for he was afraid to dwell in Zoar, and he and his two daughters lived in a cave. And the older one said to the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man on earth to consort with us in the way of all the world. So they thought the world population had been wiped out. Uh, they thought not only that Sodom was destroyed, but the entire world was destroyed. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and let us lie with him, that we may maintain life through our father. I'm going to show how this verse is about Noah. Not only can you end the Noahide laws, not only can you find his name here, and you can actually kind of see what would be in Hebrew the equivalent of Noahide, uh, which is a non-Jew, God-fearing non-Jew. Um, I'm going to show that this is encoded. Noah is encoded in this verse in the most impossible way via statistics, not only in the Torah, but the entire Hebrew Bible and gematria. This is a technique that I, I've been studying for a few years now, and I am uh, think I'm ready to declare that it's a way of, it's a novel way of decoding the Torah. So this verse here, we know that Noah drank wine. We're saying that this is about Noah. And it's interesting, I said that you can find the word or an, like an equivalent, a hint of Noahide here. You can see here. And then when you click on some of the uh, commentaries, you'll find that they are actually talking about Noahides. <laughs> now they were modest, the daughters, and did not want to tell their father to marry them. And it goes on about a very nuanced discussion about the Noahide laws. Um, and even though these, and that it just shows that they were modest women, n not necessarily, um, it's not necessarily what you might think. Then if you take the value of this verse, so our verse here, again, is Genesis 19.32. You take the value of this verse, which is 2014, it exists 116 times in the Torah. 116 is the value of Noah, Noah, as in Genesis 6, 9, where Noah's name is repeated in immediate succession. So let's have a look at that. Because uh, Noah is 58, 58 times 2, 116. This is the line of Noah, or the generations of Noah. Noah was a righteous man. So it says here, Noah, then his name again, Ish Sadiq Tamim. Okay, so here we have Again, let's have a look at this. You take the value of the verse. It exists. This value, it exists 116 times in the Torah. 116 is the value of Noah, Noah, which you see here. Then if you take uh, and you search for this value 2014 in the entire Tanakh, it comes out to 515. So what is 515 in Gematria? 515 is Ish Sadiq. And it's Genesis 6, 9 again. It comes right after Noah, Noah. Let's look at this again. So you can see here, Ish Sadiq. Interesting. So in the entire Torah, it's 116, which is this. And in the entire Tanakh, it's 515, which is this. Quite interesting. And then when you search even more, you find uh, more references to Noah. Again, this is our verse. More commentary. The wine which the, da which the daughters gave Lot to drink is an allusion to the attribute of justice. And they quote the commentary, Genesis 9.20. What's Genesis 9.20? Noah, the tiller of the soil, was the first to plant a vineyard. He drank of the wine and became drunk, and he uncovered himself within his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, uh, saw his father's nakedness and told his brothers outside. So we can see some wine, again, leading to something uh, questionable, <laughs> at the very least. 
says, enough to make him drunk so that he will not know uh, what to do when we sleep with him. He certainly would not agree to sleep with his daughters while in full possession of his faculties. Anyone subscribing to the cult uh, cultural mores of an Avraham would not knowingly engage in such practice. This story is related in order to teach us that even people not subscribing to the moral standards of the Torah would not stoop to this kind of sexual licentiousness. Um, the entire story reveals the origin of the peoples of Ammon and Moab. Ammon and Moab. We know that Ruth is a famous Moabite. And then Ammon, we have Naama, the Ammonite. Naama is also the name of Noah's wife as we've covered here before. And then if you search a little bit harder, what's this all leading to and what's it really all about? The King Messiah who comes from these roots. <laughs>